Okay, so I don't consider myself a firm believer, but I do recognize the changes in which the moon has upon large bodies of water. In my last video, I just felt completely out of sync with skating, with practically everything that I was doing. I just, I just felt really bogged down. I'm not sure if this is to blame or if it's the cause, but I think the moon has something to do with it. You know that the moon has a certain influence on our oceans. Whenever the moon is closest to the earth, then uh, the gravitational pull is a lot stronger, causing high tides on that particular area where the moon is closest to. And vice versa, when the moon is further away, there's low tide, and so on and so forth. So the body is like, what, 90, 95% water. So who's to say that the moon has no influence on the human body? I'm sure the moon has influences aside from its gravitational pull. Now, I don't know this for certain. During full moons, doctors refuse to operate on patients because, because of the fact that people die more often. Humans are born and humans die faster. I, I don't know if it's the fluidity of the blood or whatnot. I, I really don't know, but it's really an interesting topic that I'd like to get into as soon as I do a little bit more research into it. Being aware of the natural phases of nature. Like say you're doing a video part and like you're doing this really hard trick off a large gap and you kind of know the phases of uh, the moon and like say the moon plays a part in whether or not you have that good day you have a solid day or you just have a cruddy blah day and you plan accordingly and then things work out you know instead of getting your video part in like two years time you get your video part and then within six months time I get extremely excited when it comes to making videos as well as skateboarding. It's so sporadic and it's so spontaneous being able to create something out of nothing. And yes, there are challenges when making videos and going out of your way uh, just to film and record and do vlogs. They're fun, yes, but they do take time. And that's where I need your guys' help. I have started a Patreon page in case you guys would like to support me so that I can sustain making videos and making better content for all you guys, for the viewers. So I'll be posting a link uh, via the description box below. Mind you, there's multiple ways that you can uh, help me out. You can click on the Patreon link. You can also click on the Amazon links in the description box where I have all of the list of my items and purchasing those items as well as items that you guys may have uh, in mind using the links that I've provided. Uh, they are affiliate links, yes. Uh, they will help me as well. And also being a follower slash subscriber at vid.me. I will be posting regularly on vid.me. My plans as a creator is to post my videos primarily at vidme. Since YouTube has made it drastically more difficult for creators to be supported doing what they love. If it weren't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing this at all. So thank you, thank you. You guys are the best.
You have blackberry bushes. Basket slough. What is up guys? So it's the next day. I apologize for filming this uh, the next day because uh, priorities came up. I intentionally not plan it to be a product review. However, this product review, however, will be stretched out within like a couple months the way that I did with the life board. So uh, the product for today is Bronson's Bearings Raw. Raw, the next generation shieldless bearings. Uh, it has shield free design. Tungsten coated races, audible speed technology, max impact cage, deep groove raceways, and factory fresh qualities right out of the box. I try to be as non biased as I can when it comes to bearings because I've had <laughs> luck with bearings. I did try out the Bones Swiss Ceramics. Although they spun fast, they went through decay fairly quick uh, because uh, with the lack of uh, care. I usually don't lube up my bearings anyway, I just buy some new ones, but I'd expect that the fact that these are shieldless means that more dirt is going to get inside of it and it's just going to wear down the same exact way as other products. But I will give this a spin test along with the shake jumps, shake jump bearings. Shake jump bearings on one end and Bronson's Raw on the other. Alright, expecting the package. Uh, it's very neat, uh, very professional. Pre-lubed, backed by some plastic uh, reinforcements here. But looking at the bearing, first impressions, it reminds me a lot of the Bone Swiss Ceramic. Honest to goodness, it sounds like it hasn't even been lubed because if you think about it, the more lube you have in here, the less friction, but also the more gunk it has to stop the bearing itself. But this seems to have no resistance at all. All right, now that I have the Bronsons on, uh, I will go ahead and skate them for about a month. I'll let you guys know exactly uh, what's going on with them within the days to come. Okay, ready? Spin test. Bronson's and then shake jumps. Looks like the Bronson's slowing down a little bit. Hold on, hold on. This is slowing down a lot too. Oh, so this stopped like six seconds before this. I spun this way earlier than this one. So next, uh, update on the light skateboard. And face value, this is what it looks like right now. Noticeable uh, wear and tear on the nose and tail. The dents are hard to notice, but they are there. The razor tail. Uh, now this is about, uh, this is skating about three and a half to four hours uh, every day for the last week. And this is, the board is already thin enough, but if you can see, the razor tail is, it's not even like evident. And I've used this in the street multiple times and I've dragged tail and I've dragged nose. It's done me wonders. I'll let you guys know if there's any major changes that goes on with this board. Other than that, everything is perfect. All right, that about ends this video. If you guys like this episode, please let me know by clicking that like button. If you guys have any video ideas for me to do, please leave it down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Julius. Remember to slap that subscribe button as well as that notification bell my future videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.